Welcome back. I have lost one puzzle today and then solved two more to get back to the starting point, <laughs> the end point that I was at yesterday. But I, I am continuing this puzzle run and we're going to see what we can do. This looks like checkmate. Just my first impression. The king then would not be able to escape. It doesn't look like there are any blocks possible. So I'm going to try that. Okay, that was it. Well, that was a very easy puzzle compared to the last three that are not on video. Okay, here I have a check, a safe check here, which cannot be safely blocked by the queen. It would force this king up here. That's the only, would be the only sensible move for the opponent. And then, okay, I think that's it because then I would have a follow-up check here that wins this rook. Okay. Now we're in the mid 1300s, which is the highest I've been in a long time. Let's see what is going on in this position. My king has, well, this happens to me in games all the time where I end up with trapped pieces because my king had to move early due to some mistake. But I notice in this position to get a check, all I need to do is move this knight. Now the question is going to be where to move it to. Because of the queen here, that's going to be a check as soon as I move this knight. Now, if I move this knight, say to the back this way, the check can be blocked by the rook or the king can move. However, if I move the knight out this way or this way, no, just this square. If I move it to this square, then the king is in check from the knight and the queen, and it can't be blocked. So the king then is forced to move over. Okay, this is going to be a smothered mate, I am pretty sure. Yes. Now, instead of just going back and saying check again, what we're going to do is put this queen right here, protected by the knight so that the king can't capture. It would force the rook to capture, and then putting the knight back would be checkmate. Pretty sure. Okay. I've seen this pattern a couple of times in puzzles I've done on various sites, but I will probably not spot that in a game. Uh, if I ever ended up in that situation. Let's see. Um, once again, I have not castled. Let's see. There are a couple of checks here. One is this check, which looks relatively safe, except it is very easily thwarted by this protected by the pawn. So I'm going to guess that's not it. Unless, once that happens, then I would follow with this check. The queen, their queen would be here and my queen would be here. So they would not be able to capture with their queen because their queen would be pinned. So they would have to move out of check, and then I would take the queen for free. I'm, I'm going to risk it. Let's go. Okay. Then this check. Or wait. What about that one? No, because then that moves their bishop back to guard. So it's got to be this one. Okay. Then I get the queen. Okay. This is working out much better than the first few puzzles I did before 
starting this video. Okay, their bishop has moved out to threaten this, despite my king being completely exposed here. Mm. However, their king is kind of exposed here. I'm wondering, wondering, wondering. Wait, because of this and the follow-up makes it look like there's something over here. However, moving this bishop has left the square right behind it unguarded. The queen used to guard this square, but no longer does. So I wonder if this check is a good idea. It forces the king to move because there's nothing else white can do. Then I would have something over here. I think that's it. Okay. Now the question is, do I use this or this? And does it matter? Oh, well, the first idea is really bad because of where their queen is. So this has to be it. Okay. And that's checkmate. All right. Six and a half minutes. Oh, I'm getting close to 1400. Do you think we can do 1400 before this video ends? That is the question. This does not look good for either of us. But I think Let's see. Bringing my queen back would threaten checkmate. But if I did that, they could just move this pawn where it would be protected by the queen and their pawn and then my move would have been pointless. So I don't think that's it. Uh, I had do notice that this bishop has been left unguarded. But so has this bishop. Am I overthinking this? Am I overthinking this? Obviously in a game, if I just took this, they would just take mine, I think. However, something important is happening here. That is this and this and this. I, I'm going to say check here. And the reason is the king won't be able to take because of this bishop. The only legal way out of that check would be for the rook to take. But then the rook would be pinned by this bishop. And then I can follow with this, which will be checkmate. Okay. Again, something I probably never, probably would never see in a game if we ever got to that situation. I would be probably more worried about the two hanging bishops. I don't know what I would have done. I think that's one of the reasons that I'm still doing these puzzles is because the idea would be in a game... I would spot the situation. This is looking fairly bad, but that pawn is protected. I'm not sure what Black's exact plan is here. My king is, so my king is safer than it is in some of these puzzles. Their king is, I can check here, not in the corner because of their queen. If I check there, oh, well, that's even worse. Okay. So let's not check with the queen. We can check with the rook, leaving the only legal move to be here. And then follow up check, which forks the rook and king. I believe that's the answer. Okay. Now the rook is not as protected as it was originally, but but I learned recently a tactic called removing the guard. The queen is currently defended by the king. However, this check 
would force the king to either capture or move out here, and then this queen would be free. So let's remove the defender and take the queen. Okay. We did break 1400, and I have just passed 10 minutes. So I don't want to ruin the video by failing the next puzzle and dropping back below 1400. Thank you for watching. If you notice something that I missed or misunderstood, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, and if you learned something, then that's what this thing was about. Thanks a lot.